Another good texture, another surface type you can use for floors is linoleum. So the first one that I provided that you have are ceramic tiles. And the second one is linoleum tile floors. Now both are great options to use, but the key difference is in the surface and the material type. Ceramic tile is made out of stone, out of clay, and it's a harder material surface type. You usually see concrete in between, and it just looks different compared to linoleum tile floors, which are softer and more flexible material surface type. And after creating the ceramic tile floors, I always wanted to create the second surface type, the second material for floors, which is linoleum. And now I am providing this for you. So this way you will have ceramic tiles and linoleum tiles you could use interchangeably to apply to floors to texture your environments. You can get this UE5 linoleum material as well as the ceramic tile material and many other assets to use to create your environments with by supporting WOLD Patreon. So let me show you some main features of linoleum tile floors. Make sure you've placed the downloaded assets into the proper folder directory structure. I have a video that breaks everything down to make sure that the assets you downloaded work, but it's just simply matching the folder structure from the downloaded files to your own UE5 project content directory structure and having what you downloaded match to your own project one-to-one. -one. But make sure to watch the video on how to make this work if you're not sure how. So first let me briefly open up the master material and just kind of go through some of the ways this was set up. So if you need to make modifications, you'll be aware of the overview and what to look for. So everything is organized and commented out, so it's easier to track things down. So at the very top, you have your albedo controls. You have your standard albedo for your texture, for the tiles. And then you have the in-between tiles with separate controls. So you can adjust the color of the tiles and then the in-between, not the grout, but that space in between the linoleum tiles separately. And it's controlled by a packed mask texture that uses the red channel. The next setup is that small color detail. So the linoleum itself, the surface quality of it, let me go to the map. If I zoom a little closer, linoleum tends to have this small surface detail of splotches on top. And this kind of gives the linoleum its unique visual quality. So I made sure that you are able to make adjustments to this and change some of these spots, some of the surface detail color, as well as make adjustments to the brightness and the darkness of it and also ability to rotate and set some tiling. So I didn't want to just give you this material with that important surface detail as is, and I set up a way for you to adjust that small linoleum detail. And that's what's happening here. Then you have your tile design masks and colors, and this is controlled by another mask that has three different channels back then with three different designs. So this setup right here controls ability for you to switch on or off if you want to have the different tile designs and the mask channels to choose from. And this will be exposed all inside the material instance. And this tile design, you can turn this on or off. Then you have your dirt color variation that you can enable to turn on or off on top. So instead of having cleaned linoleum tiles, you'll have ability to have dirt on top, just like you did for the ceramic tiles. Then you have ability to adjust the roughness on the dirt itself. So it can be a little bit different than the tile themselves. And then you have your overall roughness intensity controls. This is for the tile itself. So you have ability to adjust roughness for the tiles and then roughness for the dirt if you choose to have it. And again, the dirt gets clicked on or off depending if you want to use it or not. Then you have your standard normal map intensity controls. And then you have your standard texture tiling, rotation and offset that you can adjust in any time. And this gets applied for everything, for the entire linoleum material. Let me go ahead and open up the material instance and I already have the material instance applied to the floors. So let's just go down the list and I'm not gonna cover every single one of these, but I'm gonna cover some of the main features so you can get up to speed on how to use this. So of course, very first thing, going down the list is you have your albedo color and you can change the albedo color to anything you want. It will affect the tile only and not the in-between tiles. And that is controlled by a different input, by a different parameter, which is in-between tiles color. So you can actually change the color or you can adjust the brightness and the darkness. And most of the time you'll be adjusting brightness and darkness. But sometimes you may need to match the color to the tiles themselves. And it helps because linoleum is more seamless. So that in-between space is very small. So you may need to sometimes match the color for the tiles themselves. 
to make it true to the linoleum. So having those two properties being adjusted separately is very important. But the next important property is you can see that those splotches of color, those splashes that, are, that go across, can be controlled individually. So this linoleum tile has two things. First is it already has those adjustments of splotches on the original tiles themselves. But then it also has another mask that gives you the ability to control additional layer of these colors to be changed to any color you want as well as adjust brightness and contrast. So if I enable small detail brightness and darkness, I can make adjustments by making those surface detail more bright or dark. And you can see if I go down to where it blends with the original tile and kind of disappears, it still has that surface detail on the original tiles themselves. So you kind of have two layers of those colors, that detail that's unique to linoleum. Let me go ahead and turn that up. And then you can adjust the color. So if you don't need to darken it or brighten it, but you need to change the color of it, you can. And make it different to whatever you want. A very cool feature that I really wanted to implement. Then you have ability to adjust tiling for that surface detail. So if I enable X and Y, I can go ahead and uh, make it larger or make it smaller in both directions. And you can see that you still have that additional color on the bottom, giving you additional layer of that detail. There's another property that you may need to take a look at, which is small detail rotation. So that's gonna be separate than the tile and detail. So let me show you what this means. Sometimes, like in this case, I have a floor that was uh, positioned and oriented in a different way. So there is direction to this linoleum tile and to these splotches. The, this little detail has a direction that it follows. And this floor was not rotated properly. And you can see that the linoleum detail is going in a different direction than it does on the interior. But what if I, created the floor, applied this on top of a bunch of floors, and then I noticed that the direction of this linoleum tile is in the wrong direction. And I want it to flow from here, from bottom up, instead of left to right like it is now. So I've added the small detail rotate to this value, to this parameter, to control the rotation. So you would rotate the texture first. So I'm gonna rotate it out of degrees. And this takes the original rotation of the texture and changes it so now it flows correctly. But the detail does not get updated. So if you rotate the texture, you also need to do the same thing at the same angle at the same degree for the rotation of small detail. And I would set this to 90. And let me reset these values right here. So this gets updated on both directions, not just one. Otherwise, it's not going to look correct. Actually, let me reset it more to, let's go black. So it's a little bit more, let's go to white so it's more clear, so we can see. So if you need to rotate the texture itself, you should also rotate the small detail so they both flow in the exact same direction. And I had to set this up separately, otherwise there was an error. So I had to separate them into different parameters and you just need to update them at the same time, making sure that they both match. So let me go back. You can see here, I actually rotated it in the wrong direction. So let's say I applied it, I would just need to reset my values or just rotate them in the direction that I need. So in this case, I will rotate the texture back down to zero. Let me zoom in. You can see that the splotch is now actually rotating in the wrong direction, but the tile itself is in the right direction, going across from bottom to top. And now I'm gonna reset my small detail rotate to its original value and now the tiles themselves and the small detail is rotated correctly. Let me go ahead and disable the properties for the small detail. You now know how to use this. And next I want to enable the mask tile design, which is still within the albedo category. So I'm gonna enable this and then turn it on. This kicks on a mask texture, a packed texture that contains three different channels with different designs on them. So what this allows you to do is have a different design for the linoleum tiles using a mask. Let me open this mask up to show you the three different channels and their designs. So let me go to the texture and open up the floor linoleum 01 masks tile designs. So here's the red channel. This is what you see now. Here's the green channel and here's the blue channel. So if I want to apply a different mask and have a different design of these linoleum tiles, I would just enable tile design mask and choose a different channel. So let's go with green or let's go with blue. You can invert any of these masks. So the values will appear opposite of what you see by enabling tile design mask invert. 
and then this will just give you different colors up here and invert the mask that's giving you different color designs but it uses the same mask just inverts it and of course you can make the colors differently than the ones that you see so the main color is controlled by albedo color here but you can also choose the other color as well by enabling tile design color and changing it to something else so this gives you a lot of variety as well as a different mask that you can switch to let's go with the alternating tiles so very similar to ceramic tiles but this time you have three different masks with ability to invert and then of course on top of this you can go back and adjust the small surface detail to have a different color or intensified by making it brighter or making it darker giving you that additional level of control and then you have your dirt masks you can enable let's go ahead and turn this on and enable it this opens up a whole new set of properties and applies dirt to top of the linoleum tiles. And here you can adjust the dirt color variation or just adjust the color itself for the dirt. You can adjust the dirt mask contrast and opacity. So you can push that dirt to be more contrasty or less as well as kind of adjust the opacity and make it less intense or more intense. And then you also have ability to adjust the roughness. So the tile itself has roughness controls here. So you can make that let me turn this uh, off, the dirt masks, for a moment. So you can adjust the roughness for the tile itself, make it more shiny by adjusting these two controls, maximum and minimum. And then when you have your dirt masks on top, it will simply use the same roughness. But you have roughness dirt mask where you can make the dirt less shiny. And actually, let me put it to black so it's a lot more clear. So dirt overall is not going to be very shiny, so you have ability to control that and make it more rough thus breaking up the surface quality of the linoleum tiles. Then of course you have your normal map intensity. This is for the tiles themselves. So you can actually push them up. It's very subtle, but you can push this, let's say to five, and it will raise these linoleum tiles higher off the ground while keeping in between lower. So kind of bumping them up and giving you a little bit more surface definition of the tiles and in between the tiles. And last, you have your ability to offset and tile to increase the overall tiling of this material. So I'm not gonna adjust the rotation, you already know what to do with this. Just make sure if you rotate here that the small detail, the surface detail of the spotches of the linoleum tile marks also get rotated exactly the same way at the exact same value. But for the offset and for the tiling, you can just increase it or decrease it if you need it. So if I bump this up to two, this will increase the tiling. Or if I need to offset it and just move it, I can do so on X and on Y. And this gets applied to the dirt, to the tiles, and everything. So everything gets offset and everything gets tiled at the same time. So another great material for you to use and flexible with a lot of customizations you can make to make it unique to your environment. Hope you enjoy creating with it.